What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and uh, I'm back on the Great Moffers channel, bringing you a gameplay here with the M4A1, uh, that's M4 with silencer, and I have kick proficiency, my secondary G18 with an extended mag, I got perks, hardline, uh, sleight of hand, and steady aim, kill streaks, reaper, attack helicopter, and predator missile. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, or have not seen me on the Great Moffers channel yet, I actually do come here often, but uh, what I like to do is... I like to get you guys really nice gameplay with guns that you don't see very often. And uh, some of you may be thinking, well, hey, you, I, I've seen the M4 before, and that, well, that's the only reason is because it's the first gun you get. But um, I promise you it's really not used that often. Uh, it comes not even close to guns like the ACR, the SCAR, especially the Type 95. Um, this gun is underrated, and uh, I, I don't actually see a real reason why it's not used that much. But, um... Let's go through its strengths and its weaknesses. Um, as far as strengths go, uh, just behind the fad, it's got the fastest fire rate out of all assault rifles. It shoots 780 rounds per minute, and uh, that gives it a unique benefit, uh, or advantage, I'd rather say. And uh, the M4 is fantastic at close range. It, uh, it compares with a lot of the SMGs. You see, especially on a map like Mission, uh, I'm just sort of sticking around in the middle of the area. Uh, not lots of long-range engagements, although with kick, you'll see it. I think after I call in this uh, this Reaper, I turn around and I pick off a guy at range. And um, so this gun is extremely versatile. Now, uh, some may argue that the ACR is more versatile, but I would actually disagree. Um, yes, the ACR may get uh, more kills at longer range, but in a game like Modern Warfare 3, where all the maps are extremely close range, you're going to want a gun like the M4 more often. Um, so it's got it jumps from three to five at a, a pretty decent distance, and uh, it's got moderate recoil, not really a, a lot. And uh, if you're using the setup I'm using here right now with the kick proficiency, it's got practically no recoil at all. But um, the kick is not necessary because uh, recoil is extremely manageable anyway. And um, if you are by chance taking into taking into mind any of these tips, I'm telling this is the long shot by the way. Um, you will not necessarily be using the M4 just to pick people off from range. Um, the, and uh, just to get into quick stats, I'll, while some do pe people do think the FAT is better at close range, it's not necessarily. It's actually better at long range, uh, but because you, you actually have to hit four shots with this gun, you only have to hit three, and they both have five fire rates, and I can get to the actual statistics, but uh, I think it's better you just take my word for it. Now, um... The other strengths of the M4, or um, actually, rather, I could talk more about the G18, is um, the fact that at extremely close range, even though the M4 is good, it does run out of ammo quickly, and it's nice to have a pistol like the G18, um, and I call it a pistol because you swap to it like one, that uh, you can pull out quickly and have a reliably strong weapon at close range. So the G18, I think, is a great complement to the M4. Um, but depending on how you're playing, another great compliment would be the MP9. Um, I'm leaving the FMG out of this. <laughs> and uh, so I, I really do think this gun is very good. And as you see, I'm just beasting on these people uh, using it. But uh, you have to play it to its strengths. Um, now other ways you can use it is, uh, and other ways I enjoy using it, is a red dot and silencer if you're not a fan of the iron sights. Although, again, it has very good iron sights. Everything about this gun is good. Nothing in particular is amazing or fantastic. Um, for instance, the Type 95 at long range. But uh, this gun, it, it fares. And it's very, very... I, like I said, it's versatile. So you can, you can do kick and red dot. You can do red dot and silencer. Silencer and extended mags. Uh, I, or if you uh, prefer, you can do holographic. Uh, I don't find the hybrid sight to be that useful in the M4. I did try it, but because the M4 is not oh is not the most uh, not the most reliable weapon at range, uh, I I would just stay away from it. Um, I I leave the hybrid sight for guns like the MK14, which uh, I love to use all the time. It's one of my favorite guns in this game. But um, so that's that's the main way you want to use it. Just stick with the extended mag silencer and red dot or holographic in uh, whatever order you want. And I think you can definitely find a lot of success with this gun. Um, if you play it like an SMG, but uh, an SMG with range, uh, it, it definitely works out. You see, I come into my I think it's my second or third reaper or something. I don't know. But um, so that's that's just about the gist of the M4. 
I, I hope after watching this video you guys will go out and give it a shot because uh, it, it, even though it's the first gun you get it, it doesn't really get due respect and I think it's just a fantastic weapon uh, with a lot of capability and I got a lot of great gameplays with it and um, I, I only figure if I find some success with the way I play it oh real quick steady game is very very good with the M4 uh, being able to pull it up as fast as an SMG if not faster and actually I think it would be faster based on the stats um, so being able to pull it up plus with the high fire rate um, it, it's it must be similar to the UMP uh, so it's got that high fire rate and it's got the type type hit fire spread at close range you can just spray people down with no problem so steady aim is another uh, almost a central perk to run with the M4 but um, I mean obviously there's ways around it but I mean that's that's really the best I can offer you so hopefully hopefully after watching this video you got you guys will go out and try it um, I think the this gameplay definitely suits uh, a lot of a lot of what I find while using the M4 most of the time uh, it always almost or at least almost always calls for fast gameplay uh, I'm always running around when I use it and I think that's a great way to use it and uh, as long as you follow these tips I think you'll find a lot of success and um, and that's about the best I can offer you. So, uh, thanks again to the great Mafu for uh, letting me post this to his channel. Uh, I really appreciate everything he's done for me. And uh, just quickly, I do want to give him, him a shout out. Uh, congrats on the 8,000 subs. But uh, that's the end of the gameplay. If you guys like this, comment, rate, subscribe. Come check me out on my channel. Uh, obviously, my name is Omega Lair. <laughs> and uh, I guess, aside from that, check out the great Mafu. Check out me. Check out Wings Redemption. <laughs> that's kind of random. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Lol, 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 lol. Lol, 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 lol.